this thing? There's one here. There's nothing like that. Time to go through the boat. Uh, maybe. But, but like, like everybody has their ways of playing games. And I understand that. But like. When somebody tries to go and play the game their way, they're like, oh, why are you playing it that way? It's like, why? Games are meant to be played the way that you want them. So like, if I want to play, let's say, um, Oblivion by being chaotic as much as possible by just killing every civilian in the game, I shouldn't be penalized for that, right? Penalized, I mean, like I shouldn't, I like I shouldn't have to like resort to any other like sort of like I shouldn't have to use console commands to make the game playable. Like I shouldn't have to do anything else to make the game playable with my. And I'm mostly stating this because of the fact of uh, what was it? Hermes Mora's quest. Where Hermes Morris' quest is that, like, if you constantly spam the spell on certain NPCs, uh, it'll break. It's like, you're telling me, though, that, like, they never fact check this to make sure that this wouldn't happen? It's like, that seems very, very, like, like, bad in a sense. Like, they should have fact checked to make sure that it wouldn't break. Or if it did break. Make sure that it wouldn't actually break in a way that, like, oh, hey, you can't progress the quest anymore. A latte. What is that? But again, though, like, you shouldn't have to resort to, uh, like, using methods that, like, normal people, or by, by what I mean by normal people is that, like, somebody who, like, picked up Oblivion wouldn't know, like, like, if you didn't know that you could use TCL to get yourself out of a wall, right, then, like, you shouldn't have to resort to that. That's how I look at it, right? Like, if I have to use, uh, like, let's say, set stage uh, for me, it's more a 20 kind of thing, just so I can finish the quest. Somebody who hasn't looked into anything wouldn't know that that's that's something. You can do. And that's what I see for the most part too. Is that like if I like that? That's why I always hate it when uh, when you make a quest line in particular, make sure that there is a logical way for people to understand where where the need to go. Or if you're going to not make a like a, a way for people to see where they need to go. So like if you're gonna make a, a quest lot that doesn't have waypoint markers or something that like people can see. Uh, at the very least, put a walkthrough onto the side. Put a walkthrough to the side so that people can actually see what it is. Because then people can actually see what they need to do, right? Like, if I wanted to, let's say, do Shroud of the Stolar's Man kind of thing, uh, that 
labyrinth part would have been an amazing point for you to have just put down anything to show us like a direction to pick right instead i had to find my own way of doing it and my way of doing it might be different from like what was intended to be And that's completely okay, though. But, like, th at least that that mod had, like, a walkthrough. So, lately, I've been playing a mod that I definitely won't be recording because, first of all, it's there's no mod page for it anymore. I don't know why. It seems very interesting. But there is, like, no information about how to do any of it. And it's just trial and error for me to do it. And I'm trying to go by, like... What it's recommending as it's like it's sort of main story right but i'm trying to like go from like one end to another and i'm trying like i'm trying to finish it as like as a linear as possible but the problem is that like in order to go linear you have to go off the beaten path to get towards that linear point and it's like okay but like i just want to you know see how good this mod is. Right now I can definitely tell you that that is. It's probably well done, there's just no direction. And even the mod creator said that he was gonna put through somewhere. He didn't do it. And this was a month ago. Do you think that mod creator is actually still working on that guide on how to do everything? I don't think so. It's definitely one of the things that I would like. Yeah, no. But to get my recommendation, like, uh, as a mod, you can pick up. Uh, maybe, but right now, no. You can't pick it up anymore. I mean, if you could still have picked it up, I probably would say it's a nice mod to take a look at, just to see, like, if there's anything that you're interested in. Because the way that they did everything was uh, was good. It was just like the one thing that I'm sad about is that like for you to do a lot of the cool things that you would uh, you would want to do in the normal game, like having your uh, what's the wording for it? Like having your enchanted items uh, automatically recharge, kind of thing, or something odd, like something interesting like that. Uh, you have to use an external program in order for you to do that kind of thing. You need to use MC Edit for that. It's like, or not MC Edit. Uh, you need to use like uh, OBSC for that. It's like, okay, well, why? Why isn't this in the base game? Like, why? Why is this a feature from a different application that's attached to your game? That doesn't make any sense. Like, why wasn't this in the base game in the first place? And that's how I look at it. That's why, like, when you see my, uh, my mod and all that stuff, you see all these random features, like, crammed into such a tiny area, and then you're like, whoa, this place looks so cool. But yet, not only that, though, you see all the jam-packed features. You have a, uh, like you have a portable uh, spellmaker and enchanter, and a portable, uh, like, uh, repair station, kind of thing, all built into one, one tiny item. That I am thinking of changing. It's slipped, but I want to get uh, I want to get a little bit of help to make sure that it'll actually work properly. The way I'm expecting it to, like uh, to work the way that I think it should. Because if it doesn't, then I definitely don't want to. It's not that I don't want to throw time on it. It's more of a bad like I don't want to. How do I put that 
it's, it's not making it sound like I want to give up on you at all. It's more so that, like, I don't want to waste, like, two hours working on an item, and then it's like, oh, sorry, that's not, there's no way you're going to get it. So it's like, so you just, so you just mean, you just waste your time. That I could have thrown into working on something else for my mod, or worked on server crafting. And you go, yep, but... But that's how I that's how I am looking at it though, right? Like I'm trying to look at it from different perspectives though. It's like, okay, what does this item provide you? Well this item provides you spellmaker enchanter, blah blah blah. It's like okay, but like who is going to need this more often than anything else, right? And again, that's how I look at it. But again, though, like, that's kind of, like, how I look at it. And that's why when, uh, I have to look into the construction set to find out exactly where I need to go. It's not like saying that, like, you're doing something wrong. It's more of a... That, like, I shouldn't have to resort to this method of just finding out which direction I need to go. It would have just been easier if you would have just provided, like, a walkthrough. Where to go, how to get this one item, or whatever, right? Like, if your mod has, like, multiple different artifacts kind of thing, it would have probably been better if you would have just said, Hey, in order to get this item, you have to unlock the scary spooky dungeon that's over in this direction, and then to that dungeon, you gotta have to collect this one big item, and then this that one item, you gotta go back to the other area, and then unlock the door, and then once you unlock the door, you gotta go through its passageway to get another item, then you go backwards to the beginning area, then you get a different item, and then that leads you to a different item, like, you know what I mean? Like, how hard is it to say that? Like, you, and if you need to go back to say, hey, follow the same path you took for this item, and then do that. Okay. Whatever. Uh, but again, that's the only thing I can think of that like I really hate about a, uh, like how some people do Oblivion mods though. Like, 
There's one that they don't do quest markers, and I was detoured from playing it, but I chose to do it anyway. And the one thing that I, I was uh, that I didn't see right off the bat. Yeah, the one thing I didn't see right off the bat, and I wish I would have taken the time to look at it, kind of thing. Or I would have taken the time to look for it. Was that, like, I didn't see uh, if they showed you how to start the mod right off the bat. Because I was looking everywhere and I couldn't figure out where, where like, what was a new location and what was this, right? So I was looking everywhere and I'm like, I can't find out where to go. I'm like... God, why do people do this? And then I literally look on the mod page, it tells you where to go. Or no, I think it... Hang on. I think I'll probably give it away with this, but I don't really care. Because uh, it will be done on the channel anyway. Uh, let's see here. No, it's not what I'm looking for. 